So conservation of energy. We are going to use the conservation of energy to calculate the initial velocity of a ball being shot out of a mini launcher. Okay, so we want to calculate this. The last time we used um, the uh, kinematic equations, this time we're going to use the ball flying up into the air. It's going to come to rest. So we're going to analyze this kind of phenomena and um, using the conservation of energy. Remember that the conservation of energy is just E initial equals to E final. So quickly, uh, with just a small bit of theory, we are going to have something that looks like this. Remember, we're coming from the work energy theorem, and that's the change in work is equal to the change in energy. And in our particular case, we're looking at the change in we're looking at the change in kinetic energy, which is just going to be uh, one half m v final. That's the final velocity squared minus one-half mv initial squared, okay? And this is where kinetic energy in general is just equal to one-half mass times velocity squared. And then we have plus the gravitational potential energy, which is just mg delta y, okay? And so I'm saying delta y, and I wish that I would have... Let me do that a little bit differently. Because delta y is just um, y final minus y initial, but I'm going to say y final minus m g y initial, and these are vectors. Okay, so that's going to end up being a displacement. So we could have easily factored out m g and then had a delta y right there, where um, potential energy in this particular case is just equal to m g some h. Okay some height, but I like to be a bit more explicit. So now, if we work in a conservative field, and gravity is a conservative field, which means that if we do work in that field, then we can get that work back. Some people say what goes up must come down, but if we're working on an object, that's called the side initial work. And we, um, the final work is here. This is pretty much going to equate to zero. Okay? So that means that this side of the equation will end up being zero. So if that is zero, we can write the same thing. We can put all of our final So we're going to end up putting everything in the initial case on the left-hand side and everything in the final case on the right-hand side. We'll do that on the next page. So this basically is going to end up being one-half mass times the initial velocity squared plus mass times gravity times the initial height equals to one-half mass times the final velocity squared plus mass times gravity times height. Uh, I don't want to use y y final, so both of these are vectors. So let's analyze that when it comes to this particular experiment. So we have our mini launcher right here. It's going to fire, the ball is fired, it's moving with an initial velocity. We want to calculate this velocity. It's going to rise up to a certain point, and at this point, at the bottom right here, I'm going to say the bottom of this is our origin. And so I'll just put 0, 0 here. But at the bottom of this ball, the velocity, the final velocity is going to come to, it's going to be 0 because the ball will come to rest. Okay? And so we can say that our initial height, which is y initial, is equal to 0. And we can say our final height here, which is up here, it's going to be yf. 
And this vector that I just drew is delta y, which is yf minus y initial. So again, we want to calculate initial velocity. So what do we know? Right now, we know that y initial is 0. So this piece just goes to 0. We know that the final velocity is 0. So this piece goes to 0. So we end up with a, 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 a reduced equation. And that reduced equation looks like 1 half mv initial squared equals to mgy final. So now, again, we're looking for the final velocity. So we're just going to multiply. Well, we can get, get rid of mass. The mass is the same on both sides. We do that by dividing both sides by mass, the multiplication principle of equality. And then we're going to multiply both sides by 2. Okay. And then we are going to take the square root. So I'll just keep this, and I'll say 2gy final. And now we're going to take the square root of both sides. And we know that whenever you have two, uh, an equation to the power of two is going to equal, it's going to end up being, um, it's going to end up being, what do you call it? Uh, two, two, um, two solutions. So all we really need to know is this height. So that's all we really are going to look for when it comes to measuring. But from that measurement, we should be able to calculate this initial velocity. So in the next video, I plan to connect this to the real world, to, the, to a practical situation.